Justice League issue 12. Written, what a pleasant surprise this was, because I'd forgotten this, but when I looked at the cover and it said uh, yep. Tim Seeley, I was like, oh, oh, I might like this more than usual. Uh, art is by Christian Deuce, so... Uh, yeah, this was uh, essentially Maxwell Lord Rebirth, this tie-in issue for the event. Yep, pretty and much. It was Maxwell Lord being interrogated by Amanda Waller, and there's like flashbacks to why he's being interrogated and their sort mm-hmm. of history that builds up through the issue. And it ends with kind of a... Waller getting pissed because Maxwell Lord's like mind control or mind reading... It persuaded her. It works yeah. on her for a little bit, and she realises yeah. it, and she is not happy. Yeah. Yep. So, I think my, my favorite thing about this issue isn't actually in the issue. It's what it does for the overall story of, of the mm-hmm. event. Because obviously we got in, in the event, but we got the reveal that it was actually Waller versus Lord. That's what the story yeah. really is. Mm. And this kind of sets up, the, the it makes it personal and shows it, us why. It drives it home. Yeah. 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 I yeah. think that's, that's, a, whole... that's oddly falls into the same category for me as the Atom Rebirth issue where I didn't necessarily love it. It's not like, towards the top of my list of books this week, but it, it did what it needed to do, and it added to the, the story, and it was solid. So, yeah. I saw some complaints about, like, well, why should I care about Max Lord suddenly? And I feel this issue and Justice League versus Suicide Squad showed why you should care about Max Lord. Because a good story can make a villain and make him a threat within the confines. You know, you don't need to seed it so far, you know, to make it matter in the moment. He shows up, he's a bad guy, and now we get, you know, his background. But between and this and doing. then Superman's reaction, that should be enough yeah. to make you care. Exactly. Exactly. And that's why and I like Max Lord as a villain. I thought when they killed him off in at the end of Sacrifice with Wonder Woman, you know, I thought it was oh man, such a waste of villain. And they brought him back in Brightest Day. And now we get him back for reals. Although I hope he makes it through. I hope Waller yeah, doesn't. He's throw kind a of bomb a scary dude. Yeah. And he's he's a great threat, you know. He's he's kind of a threat in the way that Lex Luthor's not. Where, and I'm not just saying this because on Supergirl on the TV show, Max Lord's their fill in for Lex. Well, it you know? wasn't season one. No, Lena's the fill in yeah. for Lex. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we forgot um, Max exists. Yeah, yeah. but he, he does things behind the scenes, and he doesn't want the glory. He just wants things to go his way. Where Lex wants you to know this is what he's done, and why he's smarter than you. So I feel like DC needs this threat and Waller, you know, almost these guys that aren't straight out villains. They're again, they're the shades of gray that I was talking about on justice league suicide squad. And they're much more dangerous than the out and out villains. Yeah. He, you get, you get a lot with them here. You get some flashbacks to his like childhood and stuff and the way his mother like tells him to never compromise and never go soft and care about anyone. Stop being a baby. It, yeah. Sums up. That's basically what it yeah. boils down to. Yeah. I, and also, like, I like that that little, the dialogue there with the moms, like, I don't have time for your nosebleeds and hearing voices, like, you're going to go to school, you're going to knock it off, and yeah. I'm just like, man, had he, had she not done that and cared a little more, he could have been, like, the world's greatest hero, but instead, we get the sliding door of, well, it, oh no, he... It, it comes back to that thing, doesn't it, is Superman's who he is because of his parents, and exactly y- you have Maxwell Lord, who, if he had a nicer mother who actually, you know, raised him and cared, cared yeah. and taught him right from wrong, maybe he'd be a nice person and he would be a hero, yep. but right. alas, yeah. here we are. But He's causing trouble. Again, if Seeley's going to write Justice League more, like, I don't want it interfering with his Nightwing work, clearly, Yeah. but if he jumped to Justice League and we got these style of stories, I would pick it back up. So, oh, yeah. I like if, if anyone wouldn't, I'd call them an idiot. Yeah, I don't think there's any like doubt if like Seely was on Justice League, we'd all much prefer Justice League. But yeah. I wouldn't trade it for Nightwing, though. No, no, no. I wouldn't either. trade it. I just think Seely's got it in him to do both, and he can dethrone Hitch and give us something good. Two double shipping yeah. books. You think he's got it in him for four a month? Well, no. A you can a... drop drop Justice League to single, single. ship. Yeah. Move Justice League of America to double, and there you go. Well, even even without moving that to double, that means you've still got Justice League and then a, a JLA. Like, well, JLA is double anyway, so I don't know what we're talking yeah. about. Well, yeah, I mean, even if they were both single, saying, you'd still have. All right, yeah. Like two issues. Well, I'm of saying, Justice if they, they want to keep a team book double, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I always feel like the new book is the one that could go to 
single ship quicker than the already established one because they already have the rhythm going. Yeah, so, but in this case, you'd rather the that this drops. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it, it makes me sort of realise why some of the writers who could be doing like a third issue a month, so they could be doing like a double and a single, aren't, is because they're keeping them st- like around for things like this where they've got a tie-in issue for an event or they've got an event themselves yeah. where they can have them do that instead. Yeah, yeah they're well, like... Where... Go ahead, Connor. I was just saying that they pull in the talent for the important ones. It, it really shows you that this isn't a flagship book because yeah. Hitch would have been writing it if it was. It's mm-hmm. not. It's yeah. like... Hitch, you yeah. tell your stuff, whatever, but when we need it, we're having it. Yeah, no, <laughs> well, that's like what they did with King during the Dark Side War when he wrote like the best issue of Green Lantern in a good long while, so yeah. that it made it like feel more important. None of the other issues, like tie-ins to Dark Side War, were that good compared to that one. 